Almost everyone loves sleek, sophisticated, sexy, and flashy cars. However, not everyone can afford one, and some just wanted to get seriously creative. Get ready to marvel at this list of the top 20 most amazing DIY supercars ever built. Amazing. Number 20. The Eagle Speedster The Eagle Speedster, a step up from the Jaguar E-Type, has been called one of the most beautiful cars by Jeremy Clarkson from Top Gear. It started when a doctor in Connecticut decided he wanted something a bit special. That was when the creator of the Speedster, Paul Brace, decided to take out his pen and paper and start drawing. Later, Paul cut into an old roadster and started building. What he created was a sleek Speedster with some refined features. For instance, it has a lower windshield, which is more steeply raked than the Jaguar, along with a deeper valance and a wider track that fills out, with a tapering rear end. The car may cost about half a million pounds, but it's designed to perfection. Number 19. Sharpie Lamborghini 19-year-old Brett David felt like he had to prove he could take on his father's responsibilities of running an automotive empire after his passing. He did this by hiring a graffiti artist to draw on a Lamborghini using only a Sharpie. The $240,000 canvas made national acclaim and turned the car into an incredibly unique masterpiece. Number 18. Splinter This supercar that is made almost completely out of wood began as a graduate school project inspired by the de Havilland Mosquito. The Splinter is the first and only of its kind because there has been no other car that has been built with wooden composites like this one. With a small block V8 that is expected to reach close to 700 horsepower, the car gets close to the power of a Lamborghini Aventador. Number 17. Replicated Lamborghini Countach This epic aluminum body Lamborghini Countach, which took over 10 years to build, was built by hand by Ken Imhoff in his basement. Imhoff, who has an engineering degree, created his own space frame for the car. He used measurements from a real Countach to make sure the body is 100% correct. He did, however, make a few changes from the original. The A arms are customized, and he used Corvette hubs and GT40 headers on the car. What inspired him to build this was the Lamborghini Countach used in the movie Cannonball Run. To get the car out of his basement, he hired a contractor to knock out the basement wall and built a ramp to bring the car up on. Number 16. The Oregano This supercharged, sexy supercar, which name means hurricane in Italian, is handmade by Marino Filandi, an Italian coach builder. He handmade almost everything on the car, which includes the brakes, the suspension, the body, the frame, and the steering system. The only thing he didn't make by hand is the V8 4.2 liter OD engine that is in it. The car, which he built out of pure enjoyment, took him four years to build, and the only outsourcing he did was with friends and neighbors for the engine. Number 15. Everest Philandi had no plans to build another supercar, but in 2009, he came up with the idea to create a noteworthy car called the Everest. The car started out as a Mercedes-Benz SL500 from the R129 generation. The new body remains unpainted, which is uncommon. Another interesting commodity about the car is that the triangular shapes of the edges intersect with each other. The Everest still has the Mercedes engine, however, everything else built around it is different. Number 14. R.M. Wilson Replica Ferrari P4 Fast, beautiful, and expensive, this Replica Ferrari P4 is made from scratch by R.M. Wilson Engineering, a company that has been restoring classic Ferraris for 45 years. Wilson's created the chassis for the car from scratch. On the surface, the replica matches the original P4. The color of both the exterior and interior also matches the candy apple red of the original. Before I reveal the next example, I'd like to remind you to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 13. AMC Javelin AMX Defiant Due to the lack of time the Ring Brothers had in creating the Javelin, the panels on it are digitally designed. The wheel arches, which were recreated in carbon fiber, were moved forward to combine with the new hood, front fenders, front valance, and grille. The trim, taillights, and bumpers are just a few of the many customized changes. 
The car is redesigned to fit the supercharged 6.2-liter V8 engine, which is pulled by 1,036 horses. Number 12. Il Tembo Gigante At first glance, you wouldn't think this 6,000-pound car could reach 40 miles per hour. However, this vehicle, which is replicated after the supercar in the Pinchcliffe Grand Prix movie, which premiered in the 70s in Norway, lives up to its name and can reach a speed of 200 miles per hour when both its front and rear engines are boosted. Yes, you heard me right. This supercar has two engines that makes the Richter scale shake. The front engine has 12 cylinders and is 800 HP. And when ignited, it starts the rear turbine engine, which has 1200 horsepower. It isn't only the power magnitude of the car that makes it different. It has additions most normal cars don't have. Items such as a radar, a TV screen, a compass, barometer, blood bank, wind gauge, trip counter, echo sounder, and a peep sight. Best of all, it's roadworthy. Number 11. Orbitron Died and brought back to life, this spacey hot rod was created by Ed Roth in 1964. When it was originally created, the car had a fiberglass body on a metal chassis with a plexiglass bubble that had a doorbell switch that would open it over the cockpit. The fake fur-lined cockpit was set at the uttermost rear of the car and had an 11-inch portable TV along with a small hidden tape recorder. The car has three lights of green, red, and blue, which at the time was thought to create a white light. This car was thought to be lost in the 70s, but has since been bought by a carnival owner. The existence of the car was practically forgotten and left in front of a store to deteriorate. Michael Lightborn learned about the car and negotiated for the purchase of it and started restorations on it before he sold it to Bo Boakman, who then removed all the original parts and finished restoring it. Number 10. Chen Yingxi Supercar This red electric car with a foxy interior and scissor doors might look like a supercar, but the maximum speed it hits is 37 miles per hour. It is designed and hand-built by 27-year-old Chen Yingxi, a university graduate in China. The car, which cost approximately $4,000 and took six months to build, is not street legal. In order to pay for this project, Yingxi leases the vehicle out for photo shoots. Number 9. The Porcelain Lourdes Blanc This sleek, custom, porcelain-made Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Lourdes Blanc definitely isn't DIY, but is phenomenal by its own right. The Royal Porcelain Factory and Bugatti work together to create this extreme piece of custom-made artwork with blue sweeping curves and delicate lines with five layers of clear liqueur. This is the first car ever created with an interior and body shell fitted with porcelain elements. It also has a porcelain inlay on the rear panel and the transmission tunnel. Number 8. Flatmobile This 19-inch flattened Batman car lookalike isn't exactly a supercar, but it did make it into the Guinness World Book of Records as the world's lowest street legal vehicle. The car, which has a ground clearance of two inches, has surrealistic details such as the fin tails and tail light lenses of a 1959 Cadillac. Its aluminum steering wheel, which is the smallest one ever built, is fashioned to aid the driver's access to the customized recline seat. The pitch black bat car has red cosmic wheels and a flame-throwing jet-powered engine which helps it boost up to a speed of 100 miles per hour. Salesman Perry Watkins built the tiny car out of a 1963 Hillman Imp economy. The car has an all-aluminum 875cc four-cylinder engine, which can slant at a 45-degree angle, which allows it to fit into the car. Number 7. SCG-003 Film producer and automotive entrepreneur Jim Glickenhaus wanted an SCG-003 race car that could be both road legal and equipped for the racetrack so he decided to build one. His idea was to be able to take the car to the racetrack and then when done to be able to change the tires and drive it home. He took the appearance of the car, which is all carbon fiber design, from the Scuderia Cameron Glickenhaus. The street legal prototype has the dorsal fin, pointed nose, and peaked fenders like the original race car, but it also has some additions, such as a third brake light, side reflectors, and cut lines in the sapphire bodywork. It also has benders that can be easily switched out in case of a fender bender. The kit car can even be equipped with diverse types of engines. Number 6. Blastoline B702 This is one of three cars that Randy Grubbs and his brother Michael built. The B702 design, which features a hand-formed aluminum body, is influenced by the French cars of the 30s. It has a blue plate glass grille 
and the taillights are made of hand-blown glass. The engine in it is a manufactured V12 by GMC, which was originally manufactured in the 1960s for a 2.5-ton truck. Apparently, the power steering and the four-wheel power disc brakes makes the car drive like a jewel. Number 5. The Reactor This super-cool aluminum car, created by Gene Winfield in 1965, premiered in Bewitched, Mission Impossible, Star Trek, and Batman. The car, which was ahead of its time, was completely hand-built with a flip-top roof, electronic doors, retractable fins, and a radar screen. It has a 425 HP engine, which definitely makes it a supercar of its time. Number 4. The Galaxian This golden blast of the past sci-fi hot rod is created by Japanese shop owner Junichi Shimadera. The vehicle started out as a Model T 1927 Ford. The car's LED taillights, the moon crescent-shaped gear shifter, and the half-circle steering wheel add to the sci-fi spectrum of the car. Junichi kept true to the roots of the hot rod by adding polished Goodrich Silverton 14-inch Astro Supreme tires. It has a V8 348 cubic inch motor in it, which came from a 1959 Impala. Number 3. The Old Crow Belly Tanker Old Crow Belly Tanker looks like a bullet, but was actually made from a World War II fighter drop tank. This hot rod, with a weathered paint job, can reach speeds of up to 137 miles per hour. Even though it doesn't run as fast as a supercar, its Model B four-cylinder engine, which sits at the near end, has allowed it to set several salt records at the Boneville Flats. The driver's seat and steering components sit in front of the engine. There is not much room for anything else to fit in the vehicle. Number 2. Vador The Joker's car in Suicide Squad is a do-it-yourselfer. The Vador is a fiberglass body kit which can be built over the 2003-2007 Infiniti G35 Coupe that was created by Matt McGentigart. To add the body kit, the car must be stripped to its chassis and then a roll cage put in. 90% of the car is kept. The other 10% is the new interior, the body, and the motor. The kit comes with a budget option of a 300 HP 3.5 LV6, or you can go with a more expensive kit that comes with a supercharged V8 from a Z06 Corvette. Number 1. Holographic Lamborghini Aventador This beautiful, flashy Lamborghini, which resides in Tokyo, Japan, is worth half a million dollars. It has been modified with 30,000 LED lights that value at $20,000 and a $10,000 holographic wrap that reflects light like a disco ball. This model is only one out of a hundred Aventadors that were built. This type of Skittles chroma exterior has been given to a number of different cars, and it definitely looks special. Which supercar was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.